Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are in the 2019 Toyota Corolla XSE. This has the six speed manual and the two liter naturally aspirated engine. 168 horsepower, 151 pound feet of torque at 4,800 RPM. Looking at the exterior, we've got a pretty nice design. This is a sharp looking car. From this angle, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Mazda Speed 3. Um, good looking hatch. You have a decent amount of trunk space, two handles to pull down on either side. Sporty rear end, that's for sure. In the back seat, we don't maybe quite have as much room as some of the competitors. It's a little bit tighter back here, but not impossible to fit. At my driving position at 5'10", I've got plenty of room. Pretty minimalist front seat and front dash design. Getting in and out is easy enough though. Decent amount of headroom. Let's take this thing for a drive. I'm curious to see how the manual transmission performs and what it feels like on the road. Not a terribly long shift throw. Feels nice and tight. Clutch pedal's light, easy to engage and judge. We're going to start with active rev match on and see how that feels. Steering is light at low speeds. We've got kind of a, I mentioned earlier, we've got kind of a minimalist dash. I kind of like that. There's not a lot going on. There's buttons and controls and knobs for your climate control, which is always necessary. You've got a pretty intuitive cruise control layout on the steering wheel, and uh, touchscreen seems pretty responsive. It is a little bit dark, as you can see in the video. Notice the same thing with the Toyota Camry XSE I drove a few months ago. Right off the bat, this shifter feels good. not a ton of torque at low RPMs, but a decent amount of throttle response. All right, let's give this a little bit of a acceleration run here. First, second, third. Oh yeah. A little bit of traction control coming on and the one, two shift. Nice auto rev match there in a third. It's a good system, it works well. Once you get into the higher RPMs, this pulls pretty decently. It feels good. It's not a ton of power, like you know, it's not hot hatch levels of power, but let's call this a lukewarm hatch. easy to drive smooth. The transmission just a little bit notchy, a little bit engaging. It's fun. This is a good manual. You know, I, I appreciate the manufacturers are making some good manuals these, these days. This isn't rubbery or dull or cheap feeling. I would definitely recommend this transmission if you're into driving and uh, appreciate just a little bit more engagement. Ride quality seems pretty good. Nice balance between comfort and handling. Let's see what it does around this corner. Yeah, a little bit of safe understeer there, but good levels of grip, especially considering the tires, not a lot of body roll. You know, this car is easy to drive smoothly. 
the gearing's a little bit tall. I believe fourth or fourth is one, almost one to one. Fifth gear is an overdrive, and so is sixth. Probably in the name of fuel economy. The steering feels nice. Good amount of communication. I like the leather on the wheel. Um, you know, it's a pretty standard electronic rack. Really sharp, really direct steering. Definitely an improvement over the Corolla IM. Traction control doing its job there a little bit. This thing has some power. This is. It's not sluggish. It's definitely quick enough, especially going up this hill. Let's turn rev match off here and uh, do it with our right foot. Pedals are nicely placed, good for heel and toe. Easy to rev match without the system on. Yeah, I can get behind this car. This is a this is a fun little package. You can see blue gauges going under this bridge get this in for a loan and do a night drive on it but for now I'm pretty impressed from first impressions uh, everything all the touch points switch gear feel nice the big surprise here for me is just how how nice the six-speed transmission is to row through the gears it's a little bit more engaging than I thought it would be uh, this is a nice tight chassis everything feels good decent design everything feels good on inside looks good on the outside overall pretty nice car I think um, there's definitely some potential here for just a good buy at, at the price. And maybe Toyota will do something a little bit more exciting with it someday too. And add a little bit of power, a little bit more grip. We'll see. Only time will tell. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.